Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Joel. So today, instead of painting on my artist sloth galley wrapped canvas, I got a special treat for you today. I uh, remodeled my bathroom recently with tile, black and white, kind of an art deco look. And I've been wanting to put something fancy on the toilet lid for oh, quite a while since I finished my project. And I've been looking and looking and looking and I finally came up with something while watching a YouTube video on uh, Winterstrom Arts YouTube channel. A couple, few, I think it was like uh, four weeks ago or something. But she did a monochromatic blowout and I thought, that's it. So I got my toilet seat out here. We're gonna get it all prettied up for you today. Now my last video I did, number 43, was done at the same time or just before I did this seat. I kind of, that last one was a test to make sure it came out good because I didn't want to uh, have to redo this toilet lid. It's a, a new wooden seat. So I tested it out on the canvas. So I'm just getting it all masked up here because I'm just gonna do the top of the lid only. So I'm taking my time making this like as clean and perfect as possible because you only got one shot at this. By the time I get the top coat and everything on it, there's gonna be a bit of product on the top. So I want a nice clean break. So this is actually at four times speed. So you can tell I'm really taking my time here. And then I'm gonna mask off the center with a little piece of paper and some more tape. Okay. So here it is all masked up. Now the next step is we need to scuff that shiny surface. We want the paint to adhere well to it because this is piece of art is actually going to be used. So I have some Scotch-Brite here, 3M Scotch-Brite. It comes in three different grades that I know of. I've been using this stuff for 30 years. Uh, it comes in the red, which is about a 320 grit equivalency. Comes in the gray, which I'm using, which is about 800. And then it comes in the gold, which is about 1,000 or 1,200. So I only use the gold if I'm going to be just scuffing something that's already painted just to apply my top coat. When I'm putting a base coat, I go with 800 or the gray scotch Bright. I actually have been painting cars for a living for decades and literally tens of thousands of them. So one thing I do know about is adhesion. <laughs> So here we go. We're gonna speed this up. I'm gonna get this baby scuffed down real good. The next step is to wipe it down. Alrighty, so your number one concern when you're prepping to paint something like this is fingerprints. That's why you never want to handle it without gloves. If you get oil embedded onto wood, a shiny surface like that, you can end up getting fish eyes in your paint, separation, you know, what have you. So try to minimize hand, handling it from the start. I'm just using like a baby wipe or you can use alcohol wipe. I'm scrubbing this really good as you will see. I want to get all the dust and everything off of it, of course, which I, I blew the dust off, off camera. But I want to get this thing scrubbed. So, it's scuffed, ready to go. 
And I'm going to start with my background color, which is just Amsterdam white with American Floetrol, two and a half parts Floetrol, one part paint. One concern I have with this project is that the lid itself is slightly concave in the center. So I'm going to have to make sure I get my paint stretched out quite well so it doesn't uh, conglomerate in the center as it's drying and sink back into the middle. That would be bad. So it's also making it kind of challenging to spread this paint out evenly. I'm kind of cupping that spreader a little bit, giving it a bit of a curve. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit here. I'll get back to you in a minute. So I'm going to be using the exact same paint as in the last uh, video, number 43, which is, here's the interference gold. I'm going to start with the gold. Now I'm going with, this is Artist Loft Soft Body Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. Okay, about two and a half parts Floetrol, one part paint. Here's your Australian Floetrol. Now that is Amsterdam white and uh, Australian Floetrol. Now I'm gonna cover all the paint up as much as I can with the remainder of my Artist Loft Soft Body Black and Australian Floetrol. So that's pretty much how I did the painting in the last video. Other than it wasn't on a toilet lid. Even my kid thought I was crazy for doing this, but that's okay. All right, so I got my blowgun out here. I have it set on the cold setting on high. Just because my paint's thick, this uh, hair dryer doesn't really have a lot of power, so I'm not going for a flower pattern or anything like that. I'm just going to blow this paint out all the way around. And hopefully I get some really good cell and lacing action. Again, I want to make sure I don't leave a lot of paint in the center because it is concave. I'm going to try to get this spread out fairly thin.
right, so that's about uh, all I can do with the uh, blow dryer. Now I'm going to give her some serious spinning and see what we come up with. Time to go in, zoom in, see what we have here. Some nice colors. You can see the gold, the purple, and the blue. Good cell action. Not seeing a lot of lacing per se yet. Hope you guys like it. I know you guys all want one now. If you do like it, please hit that like button for me. I really appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't. If you want to see other weird stuff like this, be throwing it at you every week. Also want to thank those surf zombies again for the background music. Love them. I like it. It's going to look good. It's different, that's for sure. Well, I hope you guys had an awesome holiday. I sure did. I will see you guys next week. And I want to thank you one more time. I really appreciate you being here.